Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Man, every time I keep thinking I'm going to say welcome back. I should just start saying welcome back to Veda, or welcome back to my vlogs, or welcome back to day 27. Even though technically you're not being welcomed back, welcomed back to day 27, you're just kind of welcomed to, I guess I could say welcome to day 27. Anyways, uh, before I started recording, I was just stopping and thinking, okay, what did I do today? What should I talk about? What is this video going to be about? Then I remembered. I never talk about any of those things. Because um, just right now I noticed that oh, uh, my mouse that I have, this red wireless mouse thingy, uh, has batteries, obviously, because it's wireless. And funny story about it, I'll tell in a moment, but um, it had a little green light that would come on, like, right where it's going right here, but I just noticed it was like red and kind of slowly flashing, so I figured, okay, the batteries are dying, but now that the light turned off, and my mouse is still working, so it's probably just like almost dead, uh, but the funny story is that technically this is my roommate's mouse, um, I live at home with my family, so obviously my roommate's not here, uh, I don't have a roommate here, but when I was at the master's college uh, last year, two semesters ago. Um, my roommate Tay, he had this mouse and there was just one week near the beginning of the school year when I forgot to bring my mouse uh, with me to school and I I wasn't like complaining and making a big fuss or anything and just said like oh man I forgot my mouse and he heard that so he was like oh hey here use this one and then oh cool thanks and then I just started using it after that and he had his own mouse it's not like I was stealing his mouse or anything, um, like his only one or anything, but after a while, like, I just kept using it, and then sometimes I'd bring my own mouse and use that one, but for the most part, I was just using this one, and then I think he said that I could either buy it off him, or he might have said that I could have it for free, and I said that I'd give it back by the end of the year, and then I forgot. So... I keep meaning to give it back whenever I go visit, but I don't think I ever am. Not necessarily because I'm choosing not to, but just I'm probably never going to remember to give it to him. Uh, and it's because of this mouse that I realized, like, meh, wireless mouses, or mice, computer mouses, mice, computer mice are awesome, because they're wireless, so they're cool. And I was thinking of getting another one, partly because, you know, not technically mine, um, and also because the battery just died. So, I mean, I could just go buy batteries, or I could buy another wireless mouse, which will probably not come with batteries. We need to buy batteries anyways, but at least then I'll have another mouse. And for Dungeon Defenders, you're able to play locally on one computer, I think, like split screen. Like, it has an option for split screen. I'm pretty sure you can use split screen. But I have no idea how that works, because... I mean, how would that even work? Uh, I have a keyboard, a wired keyboard attached to my laptop, so I have two keyboards that I could theoretically play split screen with. Uh, but I don't even know how it would work. Again, I mean, I would need two mice, I think, or use my mouse pad differently, or set up something weird. I don't know. I want to do it, because then I could level up two characters at once when I'm playing the game, that would be helpful. It's kind of like my thing, even though I haven't really shown that, because on computer games, you can't really do two people at once. I mean, kind of on World of Warcraft. But, uh, nothing else that I can think of that I'd be able to play two people at once on the computer. But once I get a game capture card thing jig for recording console games, then I will show you. Uh, thought I heard something. Uh, then I will show you how I play with two people at once, meaning me, I control two people. Something I picked up when I would, or I would play a game that no one else wanted to play. So I'd play multiplayer, because multiplayer was better than single player. I was the only one playing, so I'd be playing multiplayer by myself. Which is kind of like, oh, woe is me, I'm playing like that, but no, it's fine. Uh, it's pretty cool. Worked on the whole, like, splitting my mind thing even though it doesn't help with piano, because I still can't 
get this thing where I'm playing the song Storms and I'm trying to play a thing on the left hand and have the main melody on the right hand. And I can do them fine separately. And then once I try, well, I can kind of do them okay separately. But when I try to put them together, everything just stops. Because I have to try to get them in the same tempo and then I have to focus my mind on doing both. And it's weird. I can't do two separate things that distinctly with my hands. <sighs> Anyways, um. Not much else to talk about. I was doing some yard work. Well, I was mowing the lawn, which I guess technically is yard work. But, I mean, I kind of make jokes about how I'm, I'm Mexican, but I'm not Mexican. Like, I I really don't follow a lot of the Mexican stereotypes, which, I mean, kind of makes sense, because they're stereotypes. They're not always accurate. But, like, the first, well, maybe not the first time, but one of the more recent times I was trying to use a lawn mower. Like, I just could not get it to start, and I don't remember if it was because I wasn't pulling down the bar, or I wasn't doing the fuel thing right, or I didn't have enough gas or something. Something wasn't working, and I just couldn't get it to start. And then even when it was working, and I was trying to mow the lawn, it was just weird, and I was having trouble. I mean, obviously not all Mexicans have any similarity other than that they're Mexican, like, stereotypes, I get that they're false, like, there's, just because someone's race doesn't mean they have other characteristics. They might be common because of their culture, but not just because you're Mexican, you're good at yard work or something. Which, again, I make jokes about it, because, like, come on. Um, what else? I'm not a huge fan of Mexican food. Just like the Americanized Mexican food, like Taco Bell or something. Um. Oh, I thought I heard something. But, uh, for some that, I'm going to end the vlog. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.